Hi and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crack WPA encryption. WPA stands for Wireless Protected Access and was designed to replace the web encryption. These security protocols are designed by the Wi-Fi aliens to secure wireless networks. So let's start the cracking process. First of all make sure that your wireless card is in monitor mode. Then type Eurodump NG WLAN 0 MON to scan the wireless networks and select your network. Mine is this one right here. So go ahead and type Eurodump NG and the channel of the access point and the name of the file and then the BSS ID of the access point. So up to this point we are pretty much the same as cracking web. Except I'm not looking for the data here to climb. I just want here in this corner a 4-way handshake. The 4-way handshake contains the hash of the WPA access point. Which I will use to crack the password. You can only capture the 4-way handshake when a device connects or reconnects to the network. So I'm going to kick off this computer right here and when it reconnects to the access point is going to give me the 4-way handshake. Now go ahead and type airplay ng-0 and the number of packets and then the BSS ID of the access point. And on the top right corner you can see WPA handshake. Now you can stop this and clear the screen. And then type ls to list the files. And now I will use this WPA01 cap file with aircrack ng and brute forcing the password with a word list. As you can see I have a word list right here on my desktop. So let's crack the password by typing aircrack ng and the name of the word list. And then the name of the file which is WPA01 cap in my case and press enter. So as you can see the key was found and there is the password. Please note that this is a dictionary attack. If your password is not in the dictionary the attack will fail. You also need to remember that this cracking process can be very time consuming when the password is not found in your word list. So that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.